Hey everybody, I'm Creed. Welcome to episode 30 of Creed Saturday Morning. And today what I'm working on is Virgil from the awesome 90s cartoon Mighty Max. So the Mighty Max show is one of my favorite 90s cartoons. And when I was doing the research for this video, I, I found out a lot of interesting stuff that I didn't know about. Um, Mighty Max was actually based on a series of toys first. And that series was basically just a guy's version of the Polly Pocket series. Uh, the strange thing is I was sure it was Mattel that made Mighty Max, but no, it's a it's a British company called Bluebird Toys And they made those toys in 1992 They were all sculpted by an artist named Dave Link and the toys were mostly doom zones and horror heads And actually I have some of those and I might do a video about them sometime So the Mighty Max cartoon ran from 1993 to 1994 and it had 40 episodes and in the show Max gets the cap and fulfills an ancient prophecy that he becomes a cat bear. And Virgil is more or less his Yoda. Virgil's a Lemurian whose people were wiped out by Skullmaster. He works with Norman to guide and protect Mighty Max. So Virgil's over 10,000 years old. And he's the guy in the show with all the info about where and when portals will be found. And it, Max's cap activates the portal. So that's how they get around, travel through time and space. So Virgil's the one with all the knowledge of the past and the future, mostly through scrolls. And actually it's kind of interesting, he's actually the one who mentored Skullmaster before Skullmaster turned evil and destroyed all the Lemurians. And the show was really cool, it had a educational epilogue at the end, just like the time travel show Voyagers did. So the standout thing for me about Virgil is the legendary voice actor Tony Jay did his voice. And Tony J is irreplaceable, and sadly, he is gone now. Uh, but Tony J voiced, just for example, he voiced Shere Khan on Tailspin, the Grim Reaper on Darkwing Duck, Virgil himself, and also voiced Norman's dad on the show. One of his other legendary parts was Megabyte on Reboot. He did the badass voice intro for Skeleton Warriors. He did the voice of the narrator on Animaniacs. Lord Dreg on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who was the villain they used after Shredder for like the last two or three seasons. The show ran a long time. He also did the awesome voice of Chairface Chippendale on The Tick, uh, Overlord on Savage Dragon, the master of Jumanji from Jumanji, Wraith on Mighty Ducks, and Dragon on Invasion America. All great shows. And Tony J is just a legend, and we'll never be able to replace him. He had a one-of-a-kind voice, and he was just a fantastic actor. So that's what I really love about Virgil, is just Tony J makes such an awesome voice for this character. But the show itself is really super awesome, action-oriented. They travel all over time and space, different parts of the world. Most of the enemies are Skullmaster and his minions, but sometimes there's just standalone villains, could be zombies, could be anything on the show. So I've already drawn Norman, and Skullmaster's in my 100 cartoon villain series, so now I just need to move Max further up my list and get him done. I'm sure there's still some great characters from that show that I haven't drawn yet, so... And this is one of those shows that I do love to keep going back to. I just really wish this show was out on disc, or even on one of the streaming places, I guess. Although I don't use those. But, uh, yeah, it's not available anywhere that I know of. Except for old bootlegs that were recorded from TV. Which will do in a pinch. But I highly recommend the show. Uh, it, it actually has a ton of cartoon violence. You'd be surprised at the amount of awesome cartoon violence they actually put in this show. Uh, memorably, there's one episode where... 
there's a villain that gets burned to death and it doesn't cut away he just burns to death he's still burning to death then he is burned to death <laughs> and you think holy cow they showed a lot of that but I, I love that that they they're not so censored it was ridiculous they fit a lot of crazy stuff in that show and it was tons of action and time travel and awesome just excellent I love the show strangely enough when they started the toys it was only Max in the play sets and they didn't have a Virgil and a Norman and it was after the show that later sets added Virgil and Norman and actually they retconned the early sets when they re-released them to have Virgil and Norman in them so that's cool because it just wouldn't be Max without Virgil and Norman so this is my first video since I've moved and I'm hoping out my setup is all done correctly I'm pretty sure it is but I'm really hoping to get a lot more videos out now uh, so this should just be a start this is my first art video I got a chance to get done and um, I should have some gaming stuff and some more art pretty soon and actually since I moved I've joined Instagram and my Instagram's taken off so if you're on Instagram just uh, follow Creed Stonegate check me out on there I'm, I'm posting right now I'm posting my archive of everything I've drawn and I'm hoping to start on some new stuff soon so stay tuned for that and I usually draw way more 80 stuff but there are just some 90s cartoons like this one here that are so awesome that I have to I have to do them and if you get a chance definitely watch Mighty Max so this is coming out pretty good um, getting the lines right took me a lot in the pencils uh, sometimes if early on in the pencils if it starts to come together for me I'll do scans but I never do scans until I know it's gonna work and in this one it's pretty much the last minute when the pencils were finished is when I knew the piece was gonna work so I don't have any so I just started the video with the pencils and that's usually what I do anyway I really think it's the inks and colors that bring it to life so I'm just adding like a, a shade layer here and that that adds a lot to the piece I don't usually do a highlight layer I think that's a little bit overkill I try to use as close as I can to the exact colors from the shell and of course I try to get the likeness as I've said in a lot of my videos and then I get a background from a screen grab that I've run through a lot of Photoshop stuff just to give some contrast from the character in the foreground and I think this one has worked out pretty awesome so if you've liked this give it a thumbs up and actually instead of trying to describe how YouTube works which is kinda of silly if you're watching this on YouTube you probably already know just whatever platform you're on keep an eye out for Creed Stonegate because I post my art in a lot of places there's the final Virgil I think it came out excellent it's one of my favorite 90's pieces I've done and like I said I should have some more videos coming soon and until then take her easy <laughs>